Hello, in this video we're gonna replace the thermal paste of this uh, video card. The model is uh, Asus Radeon RX 570 Strix Gaming. The video card is with the factory sealed and we're gonna replace the thermal paste. Usually this should be this should be a easy job because we have to remove only four screws but since i gotta do it i decided to make a video it can be helpful for someone on this model there are no thermal pads on the vrms for cooling which is kind of weird but basically we have to remove those four screws and the cooler comes off. We're gonna disconnect these cables. It's quite messy inside. So we're gonna clean this. I also want to clean the fans because this I will put in my son's computer so I want to clean it a little bit better. So in order to remove the cooler I think we have to remove those screws here. Let's check. Oh no, it's just a clip. Just open like this. And we should be able to to remove the cooler, I think. Okay, let's remove the rest of the screws just in case. I don't want to break it. Uh, it's with a double-sided tape, I think. There are no need to remove the screws on the fan. It's just some tape on it. Let me put back the screws. Now I'm gonna stop the video for a while just to clean this. You can uh, you can use any brush, you can use some compressed air, whatever you like. So we'll be right back. Now I cleaned the dust a little bit. So right now we're gonna remove the old thermal paste. We're gonna use some alcohol. This will be yeah, it's very dry. I am using a plastic tool in order not to scratch the copper. So 
like this. The the lighter thing is what was under the paste. That's not a dust, it's just a, a mark from the old thermal paste. Now let's let's try to put this tank. I think it was like that. Like this. Yeah. Now let's let's try and clean this. I am using a dry Q tip, but this is very 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 old so have to be careful not to damage the crystal. Sorry, had customers in the shop. We still have some left from the old paste for this I have something a little bit stronger than the alcohol which is working perfectly for uh, old paste This thing is like a rock. You can use old BGA chip, also it doesn't scratch the crystal. Now since we got the old paste out, it took a little bit longer, but it was really old. Now we're gonna apply new paste. I am using 
RFT can fix four, which is pretty good paste. Now we're gonna plug back the cables. Sorry about the long video, it took us more than I expected, but basically that's the whole procedure. In order to avoid all these problems with the old paste, you should replace the thermal paste every year or two, depends on how much you're uh, loading the card. Basically that's the whole procedure, hope you like the video, this is fun, bye bye.